while Israeli attacks continued to pound Gaza. The International Court of Justice has significantly increased pressure on Israel to halt all of its military operations, especially in Rafah. The court considers that in conformity with the obligations under the Genocide Convention, Israel must immediately halt its military offensive and any other action in the Rafah governorate which may inflict on the Palestinian group in Gaza conditions of life that could bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. South Africa's legal team heading the genocide case against Israel filed for an emergency injunction at the court earlier this month to prevent an Israeli incursion into Rafah where over a million Gazans had previously taken refuge. We want these decisions to be implemented on the ground, to stop the war and not just say what they did in Rafah. They have committed genocide. They have committed massacres. The court said conditions in Gaza have worsened since South Africa filed its case against Israel in December. This order is groundbreaking as it is the first time that explicit mention is made for Israel to halt its military action in any area of Gaza, this time specifically in Rafah. While legally the court cannot use the term ceasefire as well, we could not call for, for the term ceasefire. This is de facto calling for a ceasefire. It is ordering the major party in this conflict to end its belligerent action against the people of Palestine. It added that provisional measures meant to prevent harm to civilians were not being fully implemented. The provisional measures adopted by the uh, ICJ, we are grateful for South Africa and those who supported them for going back to the ICJ, asking them for additional provisional measures. And uh, we welcome these provisional measures, including uh, stopping you know, the military operation in Rafah. We believe that the provisional measures of the ICJ also previously asked for uh, stopping all military operations in the Gaza Strip and stopping these crimes uh, and the potential crimes of uh, genocide uh, against our people in the Gaza Strip. While the court's ruling is likely to further isolate Tel Aviv diplomatically, Israeli officials insist that the ICJ has no jurisdiction and that military operations in Gaza will continue leaving many Palestinians with doubts about the integrity of the highest court in the world. Obey the Hito, TRT World, The Hague.